Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain the hydraulic circuit of a simple scissor lifting system in detail. First, the system starts with a hydraulic pump connected to an electric motor. The pump draws oil from the tank and delivers it under high pressure into the hydraulic circuit. This pump serves as the primary source of hydraulic energy for the system. Second, the accumulator plays a vital role in storing hydraulic energy as pressurized oil. It helps improve system efficiency by reducing the workload on the pump, especially during sudden heavy load operations. Third, to protect the system, we have a main relief valve. This valve automatically activates when the system pressure exceeds a certain limit, redirecting excess oil back to the tank to prevent damage. Fourth, a pressure sequence valve ensures that oil reaches different components of the system in a specific sequence. For example, it can delay cylinder operation until enough energy is stored in the accumulator. Fifth, the four-thirds directional control valve is manually operated and has three positions, one in the first position, oil flows to the lift cylinders, raising the platform. Two in the second position, oil flows back to the tank, lowering the platform. Three in the third position, the flow is blocked, maintaining the current position of the cylinders. Sixth, the meter outflow control valve regulates the descent speed of the platform. By controlling the flow rate of oil exiting the cylinders, it ensures smooth and safe operation. Seventh, the lift cylinders are the actual actuators that convert hydraulic energy into mechanical movement. They extend to lift the platform and retract to lower it. Eighth, the system design ensures stability by evenly distributing the load across the lifting platform, enhancing safety and reliability.